And I'm sorry to make you do a part two, folks, but you got to. I'm having a problem with Daisy, and I don't have time to record all that, and I don't have time to stitch it because I don't have the resources. Okay, so part two. I'll focus, and sorry, that was 20 minutes long. If I go, oh my gosh, here, it's so much time. Anyway, so here's the thing is. It, it, this thing is so well designed, this whole thing. Even, you know, it gets down even to, like, uh, uh, GRTX1, his channel, talking about how the... Um, you know, the, the whole world's been architected like a, a uh, like a computer. I'm seriously. Uh, streets are named for a reason. Um, you know, Donald Trump lives on like 6th Avenue. No, his, his, tow, uh, his, uh, his little tower thing there in New York City. Um, you know, got streets that are named Biden. You got ones that said Obama and all these other things. And I've shown you things geographically uh, from the satellite photos of, you know, Trump, uh, about Biden and Kamala. And so I'm like thinking to myself, you got it. Man can't do this, right? This is beyond. And, and the thing about the architectures of designing a city, sitting down saying, well, okay, now to make this biblical or to make this to uh, to the way that uh, God wants this and all these, um, you know, the whole uh, angels in control of this world, we got to have that street named 6th Avenue at a 50 degree angle with this thing's built and have this and that. And I'm, I'm like, think about the complexity of this. this, this gives, it would take... Uh, millions of engineers to sit down and work together because I mean seriously to to even come up with this is beyond man's comprehension to do the design the architect the world this way and it gets so deep I want to do another video about this that if you look at the earth from an electrical grid like a circuit board it's like a computer board now I'm talking about just flat earth and round or stuff you can actually look at the earth and say uh, that is a uh, electrical uh, motherboard like Mother Earth motherboard? Are you kidding me? A board that's flat? We're on a Mother Earth of flat Earth? Are you kidding me? We're on a motherboard? Mother Earth? I mean, because you look at stadiums, they're like designed like speakers, frequency like Tesla energy, frequency and vibration. So, and some are saying they're harnessing, uh, the, that's where the crowds are and they're screaming, their vibration, they suck some kind of ether energy from that. And then you got cathedrals like the... Uh, the Catholic Church that looks like, uh, I mean, it looks like a darn uh, an instrument. It's only shown this. It looks like an instrument, like a some kind of sound device, right? And I mean, you kidding me? It's it's like, and then if you look at the the, the photos of the Earth, like nighttime views and stuff, you'll start to see it looks like a circuit board. And it, it says, well, that's just coincidence. That's just how you design, you know, design a circuit board just like they would the Earth. Ah, uh, no, because. These things are lined out, just, you know, designed just too perfect. So do you have, like, the? I even looked up some of the um, the architects, uh, you know, man architect, not architects of the spiritual world, looked at um, the companies and trying to see how in the world did these people sit down and say, well, I'm going to design it to look like this so that it represents, uh, like, Geotex when he always... He has streets that it turns into a bear, and one looks like the Lord uh, in a ship. And I mean, these are accurate folks. And so, I mean, how do they sit down and design it like that? I mean, thinking about conspiracy and then different architecture firms working together. Well, you're going to focus that part of the town. We're going to build houses this part of the town. Because even in Erie, Colorado, you, you got to realize small town, and you know, they had all these different developers come in, and there are parts in there that have. The spiritual design i'm thinking how's a small town like this even end up like the design like this to be spiritual reads there's one about it has god on the throne it has i'll show you later a dog and then a uh, like a guy sitting on a throne being raptured on the wings i mean it is like what <laughs> and it's right there folks and so you got to realize that this the blueprint of this real that's like oh my gosh it's like uh like it's all been like just digitally programmed, and then all these other people, these characters, go out and play like they're architects, and they're just doing what the other side says, even though they may think it's their own thoughts, and maybe not be. Just like we found music, a lot of people said, "I don't know where the song came from. I just wrote it down, and I, you know, I, they put my name on it, and I, I don't know where the music came from." And the same with architects. Well, I don't know. Uh, I just sat down one day and started putting this out on a piece of paper and said we should name it this and that street, turn it 33 degree angles like the Freemason said, blah, blah, blah. Are you kidding me? Right? I mean, really? <laughs> Whoa. So, not to go on. So, let's go back to this. So, I'm thinking, 
Look how deep everything, everything material, everything we're looking at, everything we hear, see, taste, touch, has had been influenced and controlled by your Creator and all these evil and good forces of good, bad, and all of this. I mean, you kidding me. It is a computer simulation of just amazing. And that's what I want to bring up too, is I want to talk more about that. Sorry, you're all over the place tonight. There was a game called Populous. Yeah, I don't know if how you know some of you probably may or may not remember Populous. My bag's getting low, so I want to be careful here. Populous was a game I played. It was amazing. It was like you uh, you were a, 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 a deity, uh, a god, uh, battling another god, like good the god versus evil god, and it was like a game of chess, but it was in a computer thing. And so you'd have little Christians, you'd have one that's you know maybe carrying crosses, the other one were evil. So you're trying to get them. You'd do a shake earthquake the other guy stuff and cause earthquakes in this part of the world to destroy his religion. And you're you're like you're trying to build yours and building castles. And the whole game was trying to see if you could build your religion up enough and your people enough to beat them, to beat the evil god, the other god. I mean, really. Populous, populate the earth by now, and also, like you said, the Simpsons, the Sims, you know, the game Sims and Simpsons. I mean, we're kind of like living in this, you know, that's what we did. The Simpsons really well known for telling the, the future, of course, because we're all just Sims, we're just characters, this thing, right? So, anyway, um, let me back to my badge though. So, I'm gonna do this real quick. This is part two, but look at this. So, Kind of what we're seeing. I'm going to fast forward here a little bit. Oh, here's, here's the part that... This is shocking. I don't want to run it for you folks. I'm sorry, but... Spoiler alert. But here comes... Here comes, like, the, the uh, reset... Even biblically, God said he would never flood the earth again. Well, that doesn't mean he's going to bring fire and melt everything. So there's your reset. Here's your new beginning. Like Adam and Eve. Bunnies can populate quickly. We've all been down the rabbit hole, but bunnies... Also repeat. Now look at this. And there's a tree, just like in Adam and Eve. So the question you got to ask yourself, <laughs> even if these are like angels working for God and doing a reset, what's the purpose? Right? What's the whole purpose? Now, I've gained a lot of this, a lot of knowledge and things like this. Thank you, Lord Creator. And I mean, this has been an amazing adventure. I mean, are you kidding me? And, you know, it's been painful. Oh, my God, the pain. The pain has been so intense <laughs> that it's, it's almost overbearing. And that... Um, you know, and people say we're being used. We're just batteries, we're cells. Even our cells, our body, we're just in a prison. They're just sucking our energy and doing whatever. But even if that's the case, we've all, you know, I'm glad that I'm alive. And whatever they did to make this place for me, 
and think about just never having had a chance, never existed at all ever. So, you know, it's great. And uh, so I thank him for that. It, you know, and I'm sure there's more to the story and they'll tell us more by just giving us little bits of information. So, I mean, the greatest gift. See, you know, you ask what would be the greatest gift that has given to you or me or in this world. And it's no offense even to the Lord. What was a bigger gift than even the Lord? And Lord, you were a great gift, and so are many great people. Um, Buddhists, many great people through time and history were great gifts that the Creator gave to us. Your life. I mean, what a gift, right? No matter how evil we try to be, we're being used, that is a gift that just is amazing. You know, we can complain, we can whine. You don't even have to be spiritual. You don't have to go down this road of we're here on a mission. We're here to do something or not, or we're just being used. We're just batteries, just cells in a prison, in a jail. And yes, we were all born in this jail, in prison. We don't know what's outside this prison because we're born here. Put that for a thought. You know, we're just born in a prison trying to escape. But it's so bad we all want out. And we wouldn't want to find the truth to get out if it wasn't so stinking horrifying, right? So maybe that's the way that God and the angels and all these others on the other side said, we're sorry it had to be so bad, but we had to make it so you just want to throw up and get the hell out of there. You know, begging to get out of those bars. And oh, I was heading somewhere else with this. So yeah, so thank you for this gift. I mean, what adventure. It almost puts me in tears because I bitch, I complain, so you and... I mean, there's times I thought I was going to have to have mental therapy from the stuff I've been through. I'm not kidding. There's a lot of brothers that said, man, it's going to take me years if I ever can recover from this. Especially these people. These people are so filthy on this earth. I have never experienced anything like this. No offense to them. They have very low education. In a sense of education spiritually. Knowledge. Sorry, I'm talking wisdom. They have no desire. Very lack of care for anybody else. They are brainwashed immediately. They have no true heart and soul. They won't even defend their own heart and soul. And these people, I just don't even recognize them. Not even from my old earth. I have no idea. I'm mean, seriously. These people are gutless. No offense to them. It's not their fault. They have very little care for anything. And their behaviors are so bizarre that I swear, I was like, I have been dropped on into hell itself because just they're just so so different than anything I've ever experienced, even on the old earth, who was Ryan or whatever. It's just amazing. You can't even hardly talk to them. You can't even ask them a question. Try it. I mean, not to go on about that, change the topics again. Ask them uh, about uh, Wizard of Oz. What's the most famous song from Wizard of Oz? Some of the rainbow. They, they won't be able to answer that one. It's amazing. And they just, and I didn't know, here's the thing is, I do not know how this world functions. I do not get it because how in the world does this world function with these people going to jobs and working in this environment? Because I've worked next to them um, different levels. I've worked with, you know, I've talked to attorneys, to physicians, to scientists, to engineers here. And I'm telling you, it is shocking how they can't even work. They can't, it's not they can't get along. They just, they're so into their own little environment. They don't work well together. They're, and half these people are lazy, no offense. Lazy. And there are hardworking ones, though, right? But how does this world even function? I swear, is there anybody actually truly working outside of what I see? I mean, the economy knows fake. The stock market's fake. And the people like NPCs are kind of fake. And so they can, are they just manufacturing like things are really happening? Because I'm telling you, sit down with these people. And, you know, I work them all the time. And they, they work, when I'm at the warehouse, there will be ones that work. They're working hard. They're, they're stuffing their boxes. But, man, they have very poor social skills. 
they're rudimentary in their conversations. They, and it is, it's just like, how do you live like this? How do you have any inspiration even to get up in the morning just to come and I'm going to go pack boxes and go home? And then they don't get along half the time in the sense that they just, they don't. I don't know how to describe it. They're, they're like, they didn't have fake friendships among themselves and, and always talking about bull crap that I don't even care about. I mean, and then I'm just saying, and even in the professional fields, how do they function? Because in the world I came from, boy, you know, we were always like smiling. You could actually uh, say political stuff. Uh, you know, you wouldn't get a tongue lashing in, in a job. I mean, it's more sense of workplaces now. But you could actually just laugh and giggle. And we just worked hard, worked hard and play hard. These people, all they do is, boy, wrong word. They're slapping each other, they're tiny, they're mad at each other, and they don't want to work. I mean, I didn't, there's no professionalism left. I have no idea how this place even functions. I mean, it, it blows my mind. I mean, seriously. Or maybe it's not functioning. I don't know. But not seeing uh, all these scare tactics of food shortages, uh, corporations, you know, exploding and having issues and all these other things. All right. So I was all over the place tonight. So back to this that... Um, It's just shocking. So, like I said, I want to thank them for this great opportunity. And uh, it's just overwhelming. And there's times that uh, it's lonely for all of us out here. I don't know if you're lonely as me. I'm lonely. I am lonely. I feel like, geez, man. It's just, and even my friends, I have, you know, a couple here and there that, that, uh, that have local I'm always walking on eggshells with them because I'm not sure if they're going to change their behavior. They're going to take a download. They're going to, which has happened to me many times, just behave differently, right? And uh, my goodness, it's it's just shocking. And so anyway, so the Great Reset. I'm going to go back and look at some of this stuff digitally. And God is communicating to us by folks. You know, you've seen this. Keep aware of the things around you, the environment, and uh, things like this. And <sighs> sorry to ramble. Welcome to your reality. And I just wish and I hope there's more that we can do, not just for ourselves, but to to uh, full disclosure of what. You know, what needs to be done? What is the ultimate game plan? And uh, as many of us are out there asking these questions, we're just all in a, in a, in a confusion, state of confusion. Okay? All right. So, hey, I'm going to stop it at that. Um, hope you're having a great evening or uh, day wherever you're at. And just stay positive. And that's well, that's one thing I'm going to tell you that this thing is a comedy. I mean, you're God, no matter how you look at this thing, no matter how we've all been through the pains, but you got to admit, this is a comedy. I mean, it's laughable, only in the sense that once you understand God's real and the good side's real, you can laugh at all this. It's, it, it's, it's a comedy, and, he's, and they're laughing. And in a sense that, you know, we've got to take it, enjoy it, you got to control and just really just enjoy it and be thankful on the right side. If you are not on that side, if you're one of that's um, in this stuck in the flesh, the material world, in these things, you're not with God, you're in a nightmare. And it's, 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 it is not funny. And because these people are going to be scared of their minds and they're going to be in a, a terror. And, and, and they don't even see it. That's what's shocking. They don't even see they're in a nightmare because if they did, they'd be right behind us <laughs> saying, "What? what's happening? So you got to realize they are in a nightmare. If you're God, laugh at it. Enjoy the moment. Enjoy the day. Keep doing our duty and we're good to go. If you're not, well, pray for them because it's going to be a nightmare and it's probably going to get worse. All right. God bless and love you all.